Yo, what's up, guys? I'm talking the video, and today, man, I'll be talking about the Golden State Warriors. What do you have to do to be a competitive team come next season? But other than that, let's get straight into the video. Now, obviously, Golden State, y'all have y'all franchise player, one of the best players in all of sports, one of the best players in the world. We have Stephen Curry. My opinion right now is the second person right now for the MVP voting right now behind Kolyokic. But he is just an exceptional player. He's taken this team a lot farther than this team is supposed to be. He has honestly one of the worst supporting casts. His second option is Andrew Wiggins. Like, come on, man. Extremely consistent. And just, I still don't know how this guy got a mass contract from the Timberwolves. Like, I still don't know how. If I'm going to stay, if I'm going to stay a fan, I want to get rid of Wiggins as soon as possible. The guy cannot be a second option. Get a better second option. I know y'all have healthy clay, he'll be a second option, but come on. Trade Wiggins. Get yourself a third star, okay? Get yourself a third star because Andrew Wiggins is simply not it at all. Now, I don't know who's going to take on this contract because he's on, like I said, a match contract, but still. Try to get a trade to trade away Wiggins. Please do so. He's losing to Memphis, led by John Morant, and he's Stephen Curry. And his second option is Andrew Wiggins. Like, get the man some help, man. Get the man some help, please. Please get this man some help. And also, they had an injured Kelly Jr. who's supposed to be the third star. Turned the season off. Just horrendous. Couldn't shoot. Just was so, so bad, man. First half-wise, it worked out terrible. I would say second half-wise, to the right about where he um, finishes off his season, pretty decent, honestly. Setting his shots, playing good defense. Okay, Ubre, you playing pretty good. I'll give you that, man. But still, first half, you were playing like an absolute just... You were playing so, so bad. And that was actually super unbearable to watch, but still. And then y'all had y'all first round pick. The number two overall pick in this year's draft class, James Wiseman, who could not simply stay healthy when he did play. He literally could not catch the ball. He literally would get the ball in his hand and drop it. Like, I don't know what is wrong with Wiseman. Is it if it's like a mechanic wise thing or just something going on with him, but he would literally get the ball thrown to him and he would drop the ball in the paint. For an easy layup or like an easy dunk like i don't know what's wrong with wiseman but he had a decent mid-range shot hope that he can um spread out to the three-point shot and have a consistent three-point shot mid-range shot and work on his catching the ball which is just like common sense like just catch the ball man but yeah working all of that and i feel like the thing with wiseman is i believe he is just a super 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 project player he will not be good like elite for at least a couple of seasons but still like i said he's a project player so You'll have to just wait and see what he has in the future for you guys. Then you'll have Draymond Green, who's just the backbone of the Warriors team. He is the heart and soul of Golden State, man. Man, Draymond Green just means so much to this Golden State team, man. Amazing playmaker. One of the league's best defenders. Great elite rebound. The only thing is, he just simply cannot shoot the basketball, man. Imagine if Draymond Green had a three-point shot, man. That would actually be super, super scary, but he doesn't. Even though he does have a couple of clusters in his playoff career, but he's not all the way there, man. He's not all the way there. And we saw that against the Grizzlies where he missed a wide open layup, which most likely 99.9% .9 of players in the league would make. And Jeremiah Green with his lack of offensive scoring skills missed that shot, man. So, yeah. Like I said, Golden State, get yourself a third star. Try to trade away Wiggins. And also try to, honestly, try to trade for a center, honestly, because... Right now, y'all are starting Kevon Looney, man. Y'all are starting Kevon Looney, who is the most, like, average center in the league, man. If Golden State can go and somehow get Miles Turner to this team, that would be fire, bro. So y'all will have, what, Curry, Clay, a third start to three, Raymond, Miles Turner off the bench, y'all will have. They don't have Jordan Poole, who played, honestly, some great balls put the end off the season. And in my opinion, I am extremely high in Jordan Poole, and I feel like he can be a very good scorer. Kind of like a really good like six man of the year candidate for, in years to come. So yeah, y'all did a great job by getting Jordan Poole. So shout out to y'all, man. And then y'all have Eric Pasco who was out for a large amount of the season. I like Pasco. I feel like Pasco could be pretty good, but we'll see what they do with that position come free agency and all that. But yeah. And you also have Ken Bazemore who played pretty good to end up the season, but we don't know if he's going to return back to Golden State. Y'all have Alice Malagic who people said was going to be the one. And then next Jokic, like... <sighs> I guess, man. I guess, man. I guess we'll see, man. I guess we'll see with that. They don't have Michael Mulder, who is a really good three-point shooter, but can be also pretty inconsistent. And 
yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do with Michael Mulder as well, but I feel like he can be a pretty good shooter in this uh league. So like I said, Curry is gonna still be carrying this team. You'll have Clay hopefully back to his old self, back to 100 percent because fully healthy Clay and Curry is just super, super fun to watch and super entertaining to watch. Go out and try to trade away Wiggins and Hopefully get a third star that's better than Wiggins and then probably let go of Oubre and you also have JTA who in my opinion is one of the league's most underrated players and he low-key reminds me of Draymond Green so imagine having two Draymond Greens on your team having Draymond Green probably like mentor JTA to be a better defender and stuff like that hey that'd be fine and low-key JTA been hitting the streets man JTA man I'm not gonna lie JTA is a better shooter than Draymond Green already and that's insane man JTA is actually a pretty decent shooter in this year's league man I'm not gonna lie to you at all I'm very high on JTA, man. I feel like JTA can be like a, like I said, a Draymond Green 2.0. So, going to Golden State, y'all made some pretty good moves this offseason, but try to make maybe some more this offseason as well. Like I said, go ahead and get a third star because y'all have Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and your fourth option being Draymond Green, okay? And maybe go, like I said, to get a guy like Miles Turner, who I feel is one of the league's most underrated players, great defender, and just can shoot and spread the floor for a team, which is what y'all need because y'all are warriors man y'all love shooting threes man come on now but yeah other than that yo that is a video make sure to go down below drop a like comment down below sub up make sure to follow me on both twitch twitter and tiktok your boy john hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and i'm out man peace